Hi. What I want to show you is how to clear a um, combustion lockout on a heat only boiler. This does apply though to our combis and our system boilers as well, but let's concentrate on the, on the heat only at the moment. You can see that on the front display we have CL displayed. Um, to actually find out what that fault is, we can press the up or down arrows and we can see here number 62 comes up, which means that it's um, a high limit fault. It's, the boiler's overheated for some reason. So first what we need to do is make sure that it wasn't air in the system or the pump hadn't stopped working. So once we've cleared the fault, what we can now do is reset the boiler. Now, one of the issues with resetting the boiler is that you can't set it if the number 62 is displayed. The only way you can reset the boiler is if we've got CL. So you can see what we've done, I'll just do that again. To get CL up, we press the up or down arrow so if we press them buttons too hard, nothing will happen. It's a nice deft touch, just going through it so we can see CL now appears. We can now reset the boiler. To reset the boiler, we press the up and down arrows together. Again, not too hard. If I press the up and down arrows together too hard, you'll see nothing happens, nothing at all. And I'm not really pressing too hard, it's just I'm not, it's not a nice deft touch, shall we say. Um, so again, let's just bring up um, CL. So to do it, a nice gentle press. So there we can see, um, just a nice gentle press and you can see the snake starts to appear. Again, if I keep my fingers on it for too long now and the snake keeps going round, then it won't reset. If I take the fingers off, you'll see that CL is still there. So to reset the boiler, it's a nice deft touch as soon as we see the snake appear, let go. So it's just a nice easy touch on the front. As soon as it appears, let go. And now we'll see that the boiler will reset itself. So CL appears, okay. And then we're back at the main screen. The boiler's now ready to go again.